Thank you for joining us tonight. The video is polarizing. A gun shop owner telling the world that his store is a Muslim-free zone. But now there are signs he's ready to talk with the Muslim community. Eight on your side, Shannon Bankin is live in Tampa tonight. And Shannon, is the shop owner backing down? Good evening, Stacey. He says he's not, but he is tiptoeing around breaking federal law, and he insists he is not against all Muslims. There's strong reaction to Andy Hallinan's proclamation that his store is a Muslim-free zone. And we're now a Muslim-free zone. So strong, he now has men standing guard with AK-47s. Even so, his heart has changed a bit. To both of our astonishment, we hit it off. Saturday, Florida Gun Supply will welcome Hassan Shibley, the leader of Florida's Council on American Islamic Relations. You're standing by the Muslim Free Zone, but you're inviting him here on Saturday. Isn't that contradictory? Yeah, so I don't believe that he is a, a Muslim that believes the Quran exactly the way it's written. Shibley called Hallinan after his Facebook post banning Muslims, his response to the recent shootings in Chattanooga. He's confident that he can sway my my, uh, my opinion on uh, on Islam and convince me that it's not an evil religion based on intolerance and hate. Hallinan plans to teach Shibley to shoot, and Shibley hopes to teach him about Islam. Hopefully that shows a positive thing coming out of this, which is hopefully our ability to build bridges, build understanding, and tear down some of the walls of misinformation that may divide us. This doesn't mean an end to the Muslim free zone, but here's what Shibley has to say about that. I think that Muslim uh, free zone is meaningless when somebody looking like me and, and a very devout practicing Muslim is over there getting trained by him on how to handle a gun safely. Now, Hallinan tells me this is what he wanted to be offensive to make news and to spark a raw conversation about Islamic extremism. Stacey. Shannon, what about the Department of Justice review that CARE asked for? Well, that's not has not been called off right now. If he decides to go ahead with this Muslim free zone, he will be breaking the law. So it's kind of on standstill waiting to see what he's going to do next. More to come. Shannon Bankin live in Tampa tonight. Thank you.